guys welcome to another short video on javascript in this video i am going to show you how we can display current month and year by default in drop down options as you can see here there are two drop down options are here you can see current month that is april that is selected in first drop down and similarly current year is 2020 that is selected in the second drop down come let's see how we can achieve this one using javascript i have a blank html file here let me take a basic structure of html here for this example, I will be using jQuery. So let me copy jQuery CDN here. First thing we need to do is we need to add two drop down options. First one will be month selection. This drop down will be for month selection. I will give ID as month selection. We need to add options. I will add uh, 12 options here. As we need to add options here like Jan and I need to give value for that one similarly for feb so similarly i need to do for other months so let me populate this one we are done with the uh, first drop down that is for month selection let me save this and go back to browser if i refresh this one as you can see here our drop down is ready by default january is getting selected here similarly i will create another drop down for year for this one i will give id as year selection in this one i will add some years for selection so now we are ready with the second drop down option let me save and go back to browser if i refresh this one we can see we have second drop down option here but by default 2019 is selected as that is the first option here as per our requirement current month that is april that should be selected for first drop down similarly for the second drop down 2020 should be selected for that one we need to write javascript code within our html file let's add script open and end tag within which we are writing our javascript code as we are using a jquery code here first we need to write document ready function so that as soon our document is ready this function will be triggered first i want to display year by default for that one we need a date object so let me create one variable i will give name as current date we need to create a new variable of the date object so this will give me current date from which i can pull current year and display in this uh, current year drop down option so let me copy this id use jquery code dollar within double quotation you can add id of the drop down option here and we need as we need to set value of this drop down option use value function so within this one we can bring this current date as we need only year of this uh, current date so you can use function that is get full year now current year from current date will be fetched and it will be pushed into year selection drop down here so let me save this one and go back to our browser refresh this page you can see by default 2020 is selected in this drop down option similarly using date function we can achieve for first drop down as well let's go back to our visual studio code by default javascript date object gives us months in the format of numbers that is 0 1 2 3 but here in our case in our drop down options we have shown as january february march etc to convert that one first we need to get the month then we need to convert as per our requirement for that first i will create a variable in which based on current month i can add a text here so i'll create variable current month another thing we need to note here javascript starts month from zero that is it will return january as zero february as one similarly march as two like that here i will use javascript switch statement to assign values based on current month so let me create switch statement here switch in switch statement we need to pass the number based on which it will assign text to our variable here i will pass current month so that is which i need to take it from current date so that is the variable which we have created we can use get month that is the predefined function in javascript so what it will do is it will take current date that is of the type date and from that one it will fetch current month so the final output of this code is it will return us uh, current month in the form of 012 like that 
then within uh, the switch statement write cases like if it is zero then current month so that is the variable which we have created here current month will be January so as this is a case statement if it satisfies this particular case then I need to break statement here similarly case 1 if the current month is 1 then current month variable will be assigned as February so let me add break statement for this one as well similarly I have generated for other months so now based on current month we have assigned text to the current month so the final step is we need to set this uh, drop downs value based on this current month for that one I will copy ID of first drop down scroll down and add jQuery code paste current month ID and we need to set value of that one so that's why use dot well and copy this current month and paste it here so that's it let's go back to our browser currently it's uh, January so let me refresh this page as per our requirement this drop down option should be selected as April that is current month as you can see here as soon I refresh this page this is set to April so this is how we can set current month and current year as soon we load the page thank you for watching this video if you like this please click on like button subscribe to my channel and share this video to others